Welcome to step number 12. Now it's time to cover the topic of negotiating a job offer and discussing salary expectations. This can be a stressful and confusing aspect of the job search process, but hopefully these tips can help you improve your negotiation skills. Often in the negotiation stage, we might have an idea of what we would like to be paid, but as we discussed in the previous step, it's important to do your homework in preparation for the salary conversation. Establishing your salary expectation is going to take some research ahead of time. So you want to equip yourself with knowledge and insights from your research using websites like salary.com, payscale.com, and glassdoor.com, which will give you crucial information that you need to intelligently discuss and negotiate a salary. This type of research not only gives you a sense of the average pay for your industry or profession, but can often reveal the salary that others have made at that specific company that you're negotiating with. It's important to not just rely on what you've been paid in the past as your benchmark because it may or may not be an accurate indicator of a target salary you should expect and at times could cause you to leave money on the table. You also want to make sure that you understand the limits of your range, especially the minimum salary expectation you would be willing to accept based on things like the demand for people in your field, your value and level of experience, and your cost of living or other expenses you have. So how do we have this important conversation with a potential employer? Typically, the employer will initiate the conversation at some point in the process, which is what you want because it's best to avoid making the first move. As the salary conversation starts, be sure to not immediately offer a pay range that would be acceptable for you because they might quickly target the bottom of that range. Instead, you want to give an indication that you are willing and interested in negotiating. If they ask you what your salary requirements are, you may want to ask a question like, what salary range have you paid someone in this position in the past? Or can you help me understand the entire compensation package, including benefits, first? This can slow the conversation down and give you time to consider everything more closely. If a potential employer presents an offer to you, consider these very important points. Make sure that you understand the entirety of what is included. Beyond the wage, the benefits offered with the position should also be considered into the total compensation package. These additional perks will likely have an impact on your decision. Remember to remain calm, composed, and respectful in your negotiations. Understand and remind yourself that this is a dialogue meant to come to a mutually beneficial decision. If their initial offer seems low, you may want to ask a question like, is that number negotiable? Also, utilizing the information from your research, negotiate with an understanding of what a typical pay range is for that role. As you do, offer succinct examples of your value and what you bring to the role and the organization. For instance, give examples that show your quality of work, relevant traits and skills that you possess, and your potential for a positive impact, since these are all good bargaining chips. In a salary negotiation, some level of compromise from both you and the employer is likely necessary. Know what your bottom dollar is in terms of compensation and aim to orchestrate a deal that is right for both sides of the negotiation. Take a look at the resources in the description below for more tips on salary negotiation.